Dear students, I welcome all of you in the another session of traffic engineering and management. So uh, we have tried to cover most of the modules. Now in from this particular session, what we are going to do is we are going to initiate a new module that carries utmost weightage of your syllabus. That is one of the most important modules I can say. So let us move towards that particular module. What is the name of that module? The name of the module is this. See, it is design of intersection. We are going to discuss about the module that is having the title of design of intersection. What we are going to cover in this particular topic is we are going to cover the introduction of this topic, then uh, intersection at grade, and then we'll discuss about the types of intersections. Such as generalize and generalize like that. So let us uh, start the session. First, let us have the introduction. See, whenever you hear the word intersection, what is the first thing that uh, strikes in your mind, that comes in your mind? The intersection is one of the parts of traffic geometries. And the basic geometric elements of the traffic geometries are intersection at grade. This is called as intersection at grade. See, grade means the particular level. Grade means level. Means if the intersections are provided at the same level, like this, then it is called as at grade intersection. Means if, if one of the particular intersection is like this, this is having this level and this is above this level, there is a distance or this is the difference between this level, then it is not called as intersection at grade. It is called as grade separated intersection. Means if the level are of same, same level is there, then that is called as intersection at grade or called as at grade intersections. It looks like this. Then comes grade separated intersections, it looks like this. See. The level of this road and level of this particular road are quite different. Level of this and this is also quite different. So this is called as grade separated intersection where the roads are crossing at the various levels. See, this is the difference of level. That is called as grade separated intersection. Then comes traffic islands. It is not called as islands. It is called as islands. It is like this. You might have observed uh, this kind of things while traveling on the highways or on the roads of Ahmedabad or Gandhinagar city, on the urban roads. This kind of thing is being provided, see this. This is called as traffic island. Then comes terminal facilities. Terminal facilities means various kind of facilities such as uh, drop off facility, pick up facility. So basic geometric elements of the traffic geometry can be divided into four things. <laughs> Intersection at grade, grade separated intersection, traffic islands and terminal facilities. Now let us discuss about intersection first. See, intersection, let us read this definition and then we will try to understand that intersection is the location, so it is the location, where it is located on the roadway, where two or more approaches from different directions are meeting. Highway intersection design has a considerable influence on safety and efficiency of the traffic. So this is the importance and this is the definition. That intersection is the location on the roadway where two or more approaches from the different locations are meeting. It is having considerable influence on various factors such as safety, efficiency of the traffic. It can be divided into majorly two groups. So there are two major groups. First is called as intersection at grade. The second is called as grade separated intersections. I repeat, first is called as intersection at grade and second is called as grade separated intersections. Let us learn about the intersection at grade. Now, I have already discussed that what is the meaning of this intersection at grade? Grade means here it is the level of road. If two approaches or more than two approaches are crossing each other at the same level, say this is the same level. 
This is the seam length. Then it is called as intersectional grid. If one approach is like this and one is like this, so there is a difference of height. Or one is like this and one is like this, there is a difference of height. That is not called as intersectional grid. So let us learn about intersection at grade. An intersection at grade junction where two or more roads or streets meet at the same level. Okay. It looks like this. I have already mentioned and explained in detail. Now there are three more classification of this at grade intersection. See, intersection at grade is also called as at grade intersection. They are classified into three categories, unchannelized section, channelized intersection and routine. You know you are having the idea of all three things, but you don't know what kind of intersection is there. So in this session, we will be trying to get familiar with this that thing. A, a classification according to various types, according to shape, if it is according to shape then then second is called as according to geometric design, third is called as according to traffic control. So if we discuss about the classification based on types, then there are total three classifications according to shape, according to geometric design features and according to traffic control. Now if, if we discuss about according to shape, then one more thing comes in our mind that is called as according to level of crossing. So basically, if anyone asks you that how many total types of intersection based on type, so there will be four. Majorly there are three. But nowadays the according to level of crossing has also been considered. So there are four classification according to various types. First is called as according to shape. Second is called as according to geometric design features. Third is called as traffic control and fourth is called as level of crossing. Let us discuss about according to shape. According to shape, it can be either of T section, Y intersection or skewed intersection. Don't worry, we will discuss in detail about all those things. If it is four length, then it can be of right angle, skewed or offset. And it can also be one of the types of road tree. It looks like this, road tree intersection or ramp roundabouts. You may have heard the word of roundabout. Whenever you cross any of the crossings or circle in Gandhinagar, you will hear that continue to the roundabout. Means roundabout it is also called as road tree intersection. So let me tell you once again that if we discuss about intersection at grade, there are classification according to various types. First is called as according to shape. Second is called as according to geometric design features. Third is called as according to traffic control and fourth is called as according to level of crossing. According to shape, if we discuss it will be three leg, four leg and road. Three leg can be classified into T. See, T means like this, one leg. 2 leg and 3 leg. Then comes Y. 1 leg, 2 leg and 3 leg. Then comes Q. Q means it can be like this. It is having certain angle. So 1 leg, 2 leg and 3 leg. So this is about the 3 leg. Then comes the 4 leg. So it can be right angle. It can be skewed or it can be offset. Complete 90 degree. So it can be like this and then comes the another part that is called as rotary intersection or roundabout it looks like this. Fine. Now let us discuss about the another segment, another type that is according to geometric design features. We have discussed about the shape. Now we will discuss about the classification based on geometric design features. Now if we discuss about the classification based on geometric design features, there are two types, one is called as unchannelized intersection and second one is called as channelized intersection. As the name suggests, it denotes the channelized movement of the vehicles. We will discuss in detail. If we discuss about according to traffic control, it can be either uncontrolled, it can be either of control or it can be signalized intersection also. 
Uncontrolled means there are no signs, no signals, no police, no any kind of regulatory devices are there. And the driver has to wait for the gap to cross the road. Control means uh, there is the provision of signal, signs, police and various kind of regulatory and control devices. And in case of signalized intersection, light signal control is used for the movement of vehicle. So, if we discuss about the according to traffic control, that will be uncontrolled, that will be controlled and that will be signalized intersection. <coughs> then comes the according to level of crossing. So, according to level of crossing, it will be at grade intersection, grade separated intersection. We have already discussed what is the meaning of at grade. We will discuss in detail in, at later about the grade separated intersection. Now, let us discuss about the requirements of intersection at grid. Requirements means what is required for providing the intersection. I am not uh, trying to explain about the requirement of intersection. I am uh, discussing about the requirement of particular intersection. That if one kind of intersection needs to be provided, what does it need to have its establishment? So, it should have minimum conflict, it should be adequate, it should be have, have the adequate visibility, the relative speed and angle should be less, the sudden change of path should not be there because the sudden change can cause the issues of accidents, geometric features such as width of pavement and turning radius should be adequately provided, signs should be provided. Warning regulatory devices should be provided, lighting should be provided, so it is like that. Let us discuss about the various kind of forms of intersection at grid. See, it can be of T, see this is T. It can be of cross, it can be of staggered, staggered means like this. Then it can be of skewed, means it is making certain angle, theta. Then it can be of skewed like this, it is again making angle of theta with this and this. It can be both skewed and staggered. It can be of Y shape, this is called as Y. And it can be of multiple shape also where the various kind of crossings are there. So this, these are the various kinds of forms of the intersection. Let us discuss about the unchannelized intersection Unchannelized intersection are the lowest class of intersection. They are the easiest in design, but most complex in the traffic operation. The things that I have kept bold and underlined are most important. If no additional pavement width is provided for the turning movement, if additional width is not provided, then it is called as plane intersection. If the pavement width is provided for the turning of vehicle, then it is called as flat intersection. So this is one of the questions that what is plane intersection, what is flat intersection. See this is called as unchannelized intersection. See you can see this is called as unchannelized intersection like this. So it is the easiest lowest class. Let us discuss about the channelized intersection. See channelized, channelized intersection looks like this. Where the vehicle flow can be channeled in proper direction. So, there is the provision of various kind of things. Vehicles approaching an intersection are directed to definite path. Means, there is a proper direction or the path. And what is provided to get the direction? Islands or marking are provided that you have to move from this direction, this direction. That is called as channelized intersection. Channelization means giving the direction. Due to having proper direction, it is having higher efficiency and safety. It reduces the number of conflict area. It reduces the accident. And the presence of island forces the driver to reduce the speed and becomes cautious. Sometimes it also serves as the refuge. Refuge means shelter or protection from the danger. So it looks like this. It is having certain advantage that it can provide the definite path and direction. The conflict areas can be reduced, minimum disruption, minimum accidents. 
proper desirable angle is there the speed is also quite less and the refuge island refuge means shelter the vehicle this is called as refuge island this this means the vehicle can stop over here and the people can have few minutes of shelter and the conflict points are also reduced see these are certain types of channelized intersection traffic control devices can also be introduced over here like this signal signal so this is about the channelized intersection this is the first session of intersection design i hope you have gone through the concept thoroughly Thank you so much, friends.